So this is the fourth issue in Prez, Prez the First Teen President series. And uh, this was when the series was canceled uh, in what's called the DC implosion of the early 1970s when a whole ton of series were canceled. And so Prez was one of them. There was a fifth issue that was completed but it wasn't released until later in uh, a book that contained a whole bunch of these canceled comics. And uh, I don't own that one. And as far as I know, as far as I could tell, Prez has never been reprinted. So if you want to read the series, you've got to get the originals. Uh, so let me go through it because I think it's an interesting but ultimately flawed series. So now we have Dracula. So we start off with, uh, there's uh, Prez Rickart and Eagle Free, and they are um, in this country, uh, Morovia, and uh, seeing the, um, the building of a canal, which apparently the U.S. is helping to fund. And uh, so there's, there's one part in here where... They're talking about it being a wonderful gift from the United States. And, and Prez Rickard said, actually, it isn't a gift, Eagle Free. The water will enable Morovia to build up her economy. They will pay us back at the rate of thirty-four sixty per year, which I guess that isn't much. $34.60. Okay, so uh, I guess maybe the point, I, I kind of read this wrong before. I guess the point is that the amount is so low that it's irrelevant. Um but uh, a little bit of an interesting thing to say. So he goes back. Well, they go to China and Prez Ricard is so talented that he is able to beat uh, somebody who is Chinese at ping pong. And then uh, anyway, so this is where the series, you know, it's, it's trying to make a point, I guess, but it gets so weird. So we have this vehicle from Transylvania that comes in and there is a werewolf. And uh, so the soldiers attack the werewolf who uh, fights back and then transforms, I guess, into a more human form, although he still has fangs. And uh, so they are not happy because this canal that's being built for the water is taking water from Transylvania and that's a legitimate issue if you're taking the water from another country. And so it's it's hard to say in this point, it, even though Transylvania is shown as being the villain, um, they have a good point if you're taking the water away. And this is kind of one of the things that countries go to war over. And so he says something about... Uh, that he is there under the authority of Count Dracula. And so, um, you know, they're a little bit like, what? That's weird. And uh, so they're talking about actually going to war with Transylvania. And it, it just, you take their water and then you're going to go to war with them. Um, and just talking about the fact that there are vampires in Transylvania, which is obviously, you know, quite silly. And they, the, the wolfman left a, a coffin-sized suitcase in the Oval Office, which seems unlikely. Um, and out pops, I guess, Dracula, except he's on a... Uh, I guess he lost his legs below the knees, so he's on this little... Uh, uh, platform with with wheels on it and it's weird like they never really explain why other than he says something about how he he'd been injured or something but he did they, why is he on that it doesn't really it's just weird so he attacks prez rickart and eagle free comes in there and um so it just becomes just this weird fight so he says i have been tormented and crippled so that's about all it says is that he was crippled but there is still enough of me left to destroy you both. And uh, so just fighting with Dracula, and then Dracula jumps up there. And um, it is funny that, that uh, 
Eagle Free being Native American, he uses a Native American symbol rather than a cross. And then uh, uh, Dracula says, what's this, a Nazi swastika? And he says, wrong, Dracula, this is a cross, the Indian hooked cross. The great spirit will strike you down if you advance beyond the sign. So I guess, I guess uh, Dracula isn't, he's harmed by any religion, I suppose, not just the Christian cross. Um, and he uh, escapes into the plane and uh, they, they fly off into the night. And what they are going to, they have a plan to release deadly vampire bats on the United States. Um, so it says a warplane with a cargo of bats. The bat is infected with rabies, so that's a bit of a problem. And um, so what Eagle Free decides to do is use his bird friends to do a kamikaze mission. He releases the birds and uh, their, their intention is to just clog up the engines with their bodies and cause it to crash. And apparently it is successful. And uh, it sounds like they are... Uh, so this is, it's treated as if they've won the war. And Eagle Free says, there is one thing left that disturbs me, my prez. If Transylvania surrenders, do we send American dollars to build her up again as we have done throughout our vanquished, as we have done with our vanquished throughout history? First of all, the United States has not done that throughout history. Um, they did it with the Marshall Plan after World War II. And so that's probably what they're referring to. Um, but no, they, the United States has not always built up uh, vanquished countries. And it does seem uh, interesting that by crashing the plane, they have vanquished Transylvania. And then Prez says, build up Transylvania, the land of the living dead. So I don't know if in the fifth issue, that's what they're dealing with. Uh, and it just seems like, I guess Joe Simon is writing this. It sounds like he's trying to make some, some kind of point here, but I think it's all muddled because if Morovia is legitimately stopping up the water from Transylvania, then yeah, Transylvania's got a, a legitimate grievance. Now, whether Transylvania's best course of action is to have Dracula sneak into the White House and try and kill the president, um, doesn't seem like a good idea. But I think that also in, in issue three, the message was, was really muddled because in issue three, Prez decides he wants to make guns illegal, like not restrict them, but just make them completely illegal. And uh, although it's not really spelled out, it's not spelled out why he wants to do it, um, what the what the limitations are, you know, whether it's just every single gun. But then there's a cap an attack on the Capitol by a militia, and they end up calling out the military to protect the Capitol. And then Prez, I guess, has a complete change of heart about guns. But that doesn't really make sense because the militia, I, I've never heard anyone saying, let's get rid of all the guns from the military. So the military was the one that stopped the militia. The militia was private citizens with guns. So it's like, what? exactly did we learn here and and so he also made it very clear that he learned that uh violence is sometimes the solution and it's like really is that the message we want to put out there that sometimes violence is and it's i'm not saying it's wrong i'm just saying is that really the message that the 18 year old prez rickard is that a, a message that's going to resonate with a young comic book fan or is Joe Simon in interjecting some of, some of his own politics in there, which I, I don't necessarily have a problem with, as long as you can kind of make the message consistent and coherent. And the idea of a country taking the water from another country is an interesting idea, and then throwing in vampires just makes it silly, and then making Transylvania clearly just in the wrong. Um Again, I don't believe these comics were ever reprinted, 
But we did have this in 2016, Prez, which was written by uh, Mark Russell, who I, I like Mark Russell. I think he, he's a good writer. I read it and I enjoyed it and I cannot remember any, hardly anything about it. I need to read it again. Um, but I do think that it was, I think that Mark Russell probably had a more coherent message than whatever Joe Simon was attempting to do here. I thought it was a series with a lot of potential that was kind of squandered and got very silly. And uh, I would love to read issue five, but, um, you know, maybe it's for free online. I have to take a look. And that is another option. Sometimes you can find these comics for free online. Maybe not legally, but... Oh, actually, I think DC does probably release all these comics digitally. So you could probably find Prez without buying the original issues. But anyway, that's Prez number four, the final of the regular series issues um, from... Uh, when is this from? Let's see. From 1974.